Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You can hear Vanderpump in the background because I have the windows open and I don't want everyone to hear me. But unfortunately, our house had the inspection yesterday and just had a lot of mold and water in the crawl space. There's some pump or whatever it's called, it wasn't working properly. There's some foundation issues. So on top of everything, we wanted to do it to it cosmetically it would just have been a money pit so we decided to walk um so we're back on the house hunt we started putting stuff back up so it's kind of frustrating i'm glad we didn't pack too much up because we were supposed to be able to move in may 2nd and now it's just like okay kind of did things out of order because um what's going on in, our, in the process at the time so we had the appraisal and everything after and I mean before instead of after because we were trying to make sure the loan went through on time. So it's a big mess, but it's all going to be okay. I did want to make this video to let you guys know what was going on. And I also thought I would do an Aldi haul. So let me just put this here. And let's get to it. So I'm excited we're not actually moving right away now because well, we're going to be moving to the next couple months. It takes 30 days for about the loan to go through and for all the closing to happen. So once we find a house, about 30 days from then. So right now I'm just going to be happy that we do have Aldi right by us at this moment. And I love Aldi. Like I tell all my coworkers about Aldi. Like I have an acne where the area where I want to move to. And acne is like super expensive compared to Aldi and I really just don't I'm not a fan. Like Aldi's number one, then I'll go to ShopRite. Definitely not Acme. I like Wegmans and Whole Foods. Um, we don't really have one in, in close by us, so even if we did, I'd probably just go to like a Trader Joe's for specialty items, but I am a holy grail, Aldi kind of girl. I bought lots of fresh food because I'm trying to be super healthy. For the most part, I generally eat healthy, but um, I don't want to have as so much sugar, and I want to have more fresh food. And now that it's getting warmer, well, it's supposed to, this weather's kind of been horrible. I wanted to buy some more ingredients for smoothies, because I love smoothies. When it's warm outside, it's just like, I don't know, I don't really get hungry when it's hot outside, so I just like, like a nice cold drink, so. Gonna be good to have all these smoothies. I got an idea from Simply Quinoa. I don't know if you follow her YouTube or her blog or anything. She's amazing. If you're vegan, vegetarian, um, she, or just want to eat healthy, have she has tons of great. It's obviously just some quinoa recipes. She has tons of great smoothie recipes, and she had this great idea. I don't have them yet. I'm probably gonna go to Target tomorrow or something. Or actually, I do Desert and like Home Goods or Marshall or something. Um. I want to get some mason jars and what she does is she stores her, she like makes all her smoothies and she stores them in a mason jar that way she can put it in the fridge and then she can enjoy it at work or whenever later on just like meal prep it I guess so I'm definitely going to do that so I can take them to work and that way I can just get everything in the blender once so you have to keep toting the blender out from the cabinets onto the counter and clean it a hundred times because I feel like if we're um, just making a bunch of smoothies I don't really care if one's blueberry or strawberry if it's mixed in so I will just use it all at once, store them in the fridge, and bada boom. Okay guys, so I spent $87, which is actually a lot of money for Aldi. For Dan and I, just the two of us, our food usually lasts us about two and a half to three weeks. Probably more like two. We do like a lot of fresh food, so we have to keep going back for that. Um, this time I did get a lot of healthier like fresh foods that I'm not gonna have to buy again for a while that I'm gonna start putting on my smoothies and stuff so the normal bill we usually spend I'll probably do another one on that it's kind of like the kick starting because we didn't really have a lot of food left in the fridge because we thought we were going to move so we're going to keep buying all this food so anyway long story short this is a little bit of, um more expensive haul than I usually do but it is lots of great stuff way cheaper than shop rate at least in half from what we want to buy and I love Aldi. So this is what I got. I'm gonna read from the 
Risty and then just show you guys my favorite stuff. I got um, toilet paper for seven bucks, almond milk for $1.89, plain non fat Greek yogurt for $3.49, a bigger container, butter for $2.29, organic salad dressing for $1.99, hazelnut, it's like the Nutella brand for $1.99. Organic strawberries for $2.89, broccoli for $1.19, shredded lettuce for $1.29, frozen blueberries $2.29, green peppers, um, three green peppers for $1.99, organic, um, what were those for $3.49? Um, a salad bag was $1.99. Cilantro was $0.85, cents. organic quinoa was $3.49, spinach tomato wraps were $2.29, Kale, organic kale was $3.49 for a bag. Baby carrots bag was $0.95. Cents. Bananas were $1.07. I think I got about six of them. Taco shells were $0.89. Cents. Organic um, nan bread was $3.49. Cookies were $0.95. Cents. Cereal, honey nut oats or whatever was $1.39. Dry cream was $1.29. Sunflower kernels were $1.99. Chili bars were $2.19. Another salad dressing organic was $1.99. Veggie crackers were $1.39. Hemp seeds were $4.99. Organic chia seeds were $3.89. Sriracha sauce for Dan was $2.29. Crunchy peanut butter was $1.29. Breakfast biscuits, it's like the knockoff of um, Velveeta's, was $1.89. And cat food was $1.80. I got four cans. And ground turkey for Dan was $3.29. And I got um, a little treat for my friend. And I think. I just wanted to make sure they weren't coming in here. I really hate when they have to do maintenance. Like, we have Xfinity now, and that's like the only cable that option we have. Even if we did have an option, I would get Xfinity and Comcast Xfinity anyway. Um, but they want to give the tenants, all the apartment renters, an option to have Fios. So they're coming in to mess with that. And I can install it if we want it. So it's really annoying. Like, we don't want it, but we have to put it in every single apartment. So I'm just going to do an overhaul of the food. It's really messy. I kind of just threw it on my counter because I want to make sure I can put stuff away. So I'm just going to go ahead. So let me put this stuff away. We got some milk. We need to wrap. So I'm going to put all this fruit away. Um, fresh ground turkey. He likes this a lot. We're going to use this tonight for him. We're making tacos. We've got some cilantro, like I said, for that. Mini cucumbers for salads. Got some kale for smoothies. It's not good to have a lot of spinach. I mean, spinach is absolutely great for you, but if you have too much spinach, the acid, I forgot what type of acid's in it, but it actually can cause um, gallstones. I actually just had a patient who had um, 20 golf stuff removed. Then had to get the gallbladder out because of eating too much spinach. And I have my leftover sush. Sushi for lunch. Late lunch. Just very light snack. Got some hemp seeds for. seeds and this was the stuff I was referring to that I'm not normally going to buy this every single time because you don't need a lot of it. Quinoa and that goes in my pantry. I have tons of that. Okay. Any carrots for my lunches. This chipotle ranch dressing is seriously oh, crack. Like you need to try this. It's so good and it's organic. I'm gonna say it's under two dollars. One thing I'm really looking forward to when we get a house is just having a pantry. Because right now we kind of just have to put all of our um, non perishable, non refrigerated foods in the cabinets, and then it's like all of our appliances not appliances but like our toaster all that stuff that has to stay on the counter because we don't have much room for it it's just like Arr. i use this um 
There we go. Aldi brand. It is Friendly Farms Almond Milk. I use the original. I don't get the vanilla or sweetened kind because as it tastes a little bit better, but I've been drinking almond milk for like eight years now, so I'm used to it. I can drink it straight out of a cup. Original. Um, I don't get any flavors because as I don't drink regular milk. If I have to cook this with something like mac and cheese or whatever, it tastes a little funny if it's vanilla flavored. So that's why I always get original. These crackers are super good. The favorites, roasted veggie crackers are crack. This is a really good deal. It's like one eighty nine for three crackers, and I like a little bit of pumpkin. These peanut butter cookies from Aldi are super good. They are like the replica or dupes for. Girl Scout cookies, 95 cents, tastes just like a peanut butter patty, and I'm gonna be bad. You know what, I won't open them. I'm gonna save them for dessert for Dan and I. I'm gonna cut I'll be good. Sunflower kernels, I think I'm putting out my salads with some dried cranberries. And then I like to use their organic balsamic vinaigrette, some little cheese, cucumbers, my lettuce, onions, so good. Um, I'm gonna use the Chipotle ranch I bought for the baby carrots to dip in. These are the dupes or whatever knockoffs breakfast biscuits and they are the same thing as um, the Belvedas. Belvedas actually has a lot of cartwheel coupons at Target but I figured I'd try the Aldi brand just to see what they're like. I'm pretty sure the Belvedas might be a little bit healthier. For the most part, these ingredients aren't terrible. Like, there's nothing super bad. But as an overall general rule of thumb, if the laundry list of ingredients is long, then you do not want to eat it. The less ingredients, generally speaking, the better it is for you. Because I have a lot of additives and stuff. This is my scoop butter lettuce I get, and it's $1.99 all the time, sometimes even a dollar if it's going to go bad soon. Baby carrots, my lunches. I'm definitely going to be meal prepping tomorrow because I'm working Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So when I work night shift three days in a row, it's like super hard to have the energy when you're working back to back to wake up and cook a lot. So I just want to have everything done, ready to set, my snacks ready to go, everything. So I can just wake up, eat really quick, just heat stuff with microwave or just eat it fresh. Don't have to do any prep work. And this is the yogurt I got for smoothies. And I usually try to get some more balanced butter, but obviously Ollie doesn't have that. So I just got the, with canola oil instead, it's a little bit better. Some more balanced butter, I believe Target has that. I used to get it from ShopRite, but you know. We usually just cook with it, like in the pan, only when I make eggs and like certain, like pierogies or something that needs to have butter. Other than that, we usually use extra virgin olive oil. Alright you guys, I did get some other things from Aldi that I mentioned in my receipt, but I'm just trying to put things away and I don't think you want to see every little thing I got. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see like the meal prepping and stuff, I'm probably going to make a video about that and do it under the nurse rant. So I know I have some viewers that watch for my nursing videos and some just like oral lifestyle videos, but I'm going to make a video on that. I'm going to be do doing the prep tomorrow. So I'll probably post it tomorrow afternoon and I'll see you guys next time.